I've been looking after patients using telemedicine. Um, what I'd like to do is just show you a bit about how it works, um, but initially just tell you some of the concepts. And I've got a patient of mine, Mr. Orr, with me, who can uh, give his view on how it's worked for him. Now, there are different types of equipment, but this is an example of the one I use, the Docabo Dock at Home unit, which is a, a small bit of apparatus that's, that sits on a charging cradle and has a GPS chip in it so it can send data like a mobile phone will do. Uh, and the idea is that in the normal sense, when patients come to see you in a clinic preferred by the doctor, um, you see them in the clinic, you take the story, examine them, maybe arrange some tests, and then you have to have a follow-up appointment. And in the gap between, which might be a few weeks or it could be months, things happen to that patient and you bring them back and have to try and work out what happened in relation to their symptoms, any change of tablets. And memories can be frail, even writing a diary can be difficult. And you try and then adjust your management or treatment to give them the best result. In the uh, past, that's all you could do. And the, the short 10 minute interview with a GP might lead to a letter to a specialist and then the specialist will take over and there'll be interaction between the GP and the specialist and sometimes a nurse involved. Uh, but data that you might find useful isn't available from that old-fashioned system. Now using this particular setup, um, if the patient has a long-term condition that's chronic that might mean a lot of need to come in and out of hospital, you could prevent them coming to a hospital or to see a doctor if you could monitor them remotely. And that's how this initially was set up. But there's another way of using it, which I'm tending to use it for now, which is not just people that might need it long term, but in the short term, change of medication, someone's come out of hospital, adjusting to changes in uh, things you do. In the short term, you can get a lot of valuable information. And this particular uh, unit is uh, very flexible because it not only has the hardware to enable you to do an ECG and to tap in results of blood pressure or patient's weight, they weigh themselves, they make their blood pressure measurement on an automated blood pressure cuff and then dial in the numbers. There's questions that come up at it, on the machine that you set for the particular disease and tailor to the patient. And they can answer the questions with these numbers and also with uh, multiple choice, they can scroll up and down to give answers. And in doing so, you can then get feedback. And once this cradle has, um, this, this uh, cradle has been sat, up, sat uh, together with a power unit, with the current GPRS connection, it will download the data almost instantaneously to, to a website which is secure and I can then pick up the information on my laptop or if I'm out even on my mobile phone which happens to be an iPhone but anything that picks up a web page will be able to pick up that as long as you've got the secure key to get in so I have a contract with a patient through a particular unit which has got encrypted information that comes from that unit to a server through the Docobo um, data handling server with all the patient's data but all separately, separately stored and encrypted and only I can enter to get your data to me. So it's safe in that way and it passes various, uh, very strict criteria for data protection. Now Hugh, you've been using this for some time, I don't know if you'd like to just tell me a bit about how what I've said fits in with what you're doing, how you found starting with it etc. The main thing for me is really the ease of it. It's very, very easy to operate, very, very easy to use, and I can put in all the necessary information. The machine is also tailored to my own needs. The, one of the best things for me is that you have really my results pretty much instantly, and you can then either send the machine, obviously the information to the machine, and I can then tailor my, my medication accordingly, and we can alter it and change it. So I know each day that we're fine tuning really my medication for me. Did you have any problems in actually getting used to using the equipment no. when I first brought it? I mean, how did you find the explanation and using it? The explanation was fantastic. You went through everything with me really, really well, and I was able to use the machine. Are you going to show how you're using it? Mm -hmm. okay. Now to use the machine, I remove it from its cradle and press OK on the machine. The machine then goes through various questions which I can easily answer just by scrolling up and down and clicking OK. After once I've answered all the various questions, I can then also do 
ECG as well if required and I can put everything, all the information in and then once it's ready put the machine back onto the, the base unit and then that's the machine now communicating all my information I need straight to Dr Forbit. Yes, now it may be that there's nothing urgent to do and it can be left till the following morning and you don't have to look at it. If I didn't have an iPhone with me I would have to wait till I got to a computer, log on and the normal pattern would be you check in the morning or evening and see what's happened to the patient's information um, and you do it on a laptop uh, which has got a bigger screen. Uh, the advantage obviously for me would be I can see trends just like a ward round where you have a chart at the end of the bed with a blood pressure and pulse and you can see the movement and changes in the numbers pictorially which helps visually but you can also go into individual data sets when you click on them when it's on the internet and bring out the actual numbers the actual answers to the questions so it enables you to to look deeper into the patient's symptoms or look at the trends and then if I want to send you an instruction that's not urgent but next day's tablets might need a change if you're on blood thinning tablets or blood pressure tablets and you need to tweak the dose up or down then you can send a message which will come to the hub and there'll be a flashing icon on the letter section and you press the button and you can see the latest message or scroll down to previous ones if you want to see them. If it's more urgent of course um, then you can communicate either by telephone, email or whatever text that message you've agreed with the patient and there's an ability for the patient obviously knowing your contact details to get in touch with you and say look I've just taken a reading can you have a look because something's happened so that gives you um, ability to have not so much real time but close to real time it's not continuous recording but it's continuous event monitoring as and when you need to and it tends to be that you have one or two set times a day as a routine when you get up in the morning first you do your weight blood pressure any question sets that are designed for you, you answer them and then you put it aside and go to work, do what you like and in the evening maybe put some other in, sets of questions in at a time that suits you. You can of course add questions ad hoc as we say by picking the unit up and pressing any time questions and if you want to take it on holiday or, or take it with you it's, it's quite portable. This is the size of, of the case that it goes in and I take it on and off aeroplanes um, and it just fits into here and there's slots for the power lead and the base unit and the um, actual unit and some people need oxygen monitor saturation so you have a, um, another bit of kit that just plugs in the back but other than the wire on this unit for the power supply the only other thing you plug in is if you're using oxygen uh, content of the blood where there's a little clip that goes on your finger that has to be clipped in the back there and it will give you a reading of the oxygen and the heart rate in addition to the heart rate which you can get from the ECG by your hand touching these four little metal points each side like a pistol grip which you've done. Um, so you've had it for several weeks now. Um, prior to that what was your experience about getting it, getting to see the doctor or myself and, and since? How has it changed how you are the managing? Pro the problem going to normal GPs is obviously the time we have to wait for various appointments etc. I say I always felt with that, obviously with this machine now, I've got instant really contact, as you say, close to real time, really with information obviously of how I am feeling, if I'm unwell or anything, I can then use the machine, I can go through the process with the machine and I can really be in contact with you all the time. That's one of the real big benefits for me. How would you feel when we reached what we think is a, the end of the use for you, because you, we hope to get to a point where we've solved what the doses of the medicines are mm -hmm. and you don't need it all the time and we take it away how do you feel about that will you've got anything from this that will continue in helping you even if it's not with you have you what would you think you've learned from actually having used that one of the Do questions I was, I was going, trying to get at is do you think you've learnt something about the way your body works or the things you need to take notice of that will stay with you even without the machine yes 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 I would say certainly with medication and things to have it obviously altered and tailored and everything really to suit really my own, my own self really. Yeah, okay. So this is a, a commonly used um, telemedicine unit around the UK but in relatively small numbers. This service that I'm providing is through patients that are either insured or fee paying. It's not available through the NHS currently although in small numbers in certain practices around the UK it is. It's not easily accessible 
So what I'm trying to provide is a, a personalised service for those that um, can see a benefit in it and obviously if people can understand how it works and see how it works it's not going to be something that's going to worry or frighten you, it's actually very simple to use. Mm -hmm. And, and the length of time and how you use it is something that's decided between you and the patient and mm -hmm. you don't have to feel tied to it and if it isn't for you and it doesn't work then you, you just stop using it. Mm -hmm. Also as well I can take it to my business, I can mm. unplug it, I can take it mm -hmm. to work with me, mm. if I'm feeling unwell or any mm -hmm. reason I can take readings right away and I really have it with me portable at any time, mm -hmm. I'm not restricted by it in mm -hmm. any way, I can just take it with me, mm -hmm. no problems at all.